Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to downgrade your macOS device from Ventura. It's a completely normal thing to start noticing performance issues, bugs, glitches, or whatever when we download a new operating system. macOS Ventura is not exempt from this issue. And in this video, we're going to be detailing three easy ways to downgrade our macOS device. But before we do any of that, we are going to try a couple tasks that we can do to maybe fix those performance issues because downgrading a macOS device actually takes hours hours and sometimes multiple tries. Yes, we could be experiencing some compatibility issues because macOS Ventura is so new, some of the apps that we use on a daily basis are not optimized for it yet. But there is a high possibility that it could just be a broken plugin or some other small issue. And there's many ways to check for that. And it could be a little bit too complicated. So the one thing that I would recommend is to use Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac X is an all-in-one program suite that could do a lot of things from running maintenance scripts, optimizing RAM, getting rid of system junk, and doing virus scans. So in in this instance, I'm going to be running some maintenance scripts and going to the optimization tab and clicking something called launch agents. These tools can help me disable all those invisible plugins or broken plugins that could be messing up my Mac right now. And it's just that easy with a click of a button. And I highly recommend this program because it makes a lot of things very simple and easy to use. There is a download link in the description box below for a free trial or a full version, depending on you. But use Clean My Mac X today and you could actually solve some problems that could save you some time from downgrading from Mac OS Ventura. Okay, so we're going to get into to those aforementioned three tips right now. But the last thing that you should check for is what MacBook or chipset you're running. Because if you're using an Intel Mac, there's going to be different commands for those who are using Apple Silicon Macs. So please check that right now. Here's a quick way of doing it and make sure you know that for sure. All right. So tip number one is the easiest of the three, and that is to use Time Machine. Time Machine is an old backup system that has been around for a really long time with MacBooks and iMacs. If you haven't upgraded to Mac OS Ventura yet, please get an external drive that is big enough to back up your entire device right now. Because in the event that things don't work out, you could have this snapshot of what your device used to be like, plug it into your computer, run Time Machine, and it's just like that you can recover back to what your device used to be. If you have an Intel Mac, just hold down Command R when you're restarting your computer once you see that Apple logo pop up. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac, you're going to be holding down that power button as it turns on, and then you're going to click on Options, Continue, and then Restore from Time Machine Backup. Okay, so you might be wondering, what if I don't have a backup? of my computer and I just went to upgrade to Ventura anyways, you're not out of luck. Here's a quick, easy way to fix this problem. You're going to want to shut down your device completely, turn it back on and hold down one of these three commands that do three different things. And then you can sit back and let your Mac resurrect itself. But please do not close your computer. Don't put it on sleep. Don't close your laptop as it's doing its thing. The third and final tip for today is to use something called a bootable installer. In the older days and the older versions of Mac OS, we actually downloaded a whole installer program that would upgrade our our device to the next Mac OS. We have a whole easy to read article about this whole topic, and there's a link to that article in the description box below. Highly recommend using it. But basically what it is, is that you're going to be downloading from Apple the installer for either Mac OS Monterey or maybe an older version. And then you're going to put that on an external drive, and then you're going to plug it into your device and run that installer as if it's upgrading to a new thing when it's actually downgrading to an old OS. With any of these three tips, you could successfully downgrade your Mac OS device to an older version, and hopefully everything works out for you. 